Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday at Warrior Training System. Let's jump into today's workout, get you warmed up and rock and roll. We're gonna open up today with 10 minutes of continuous movement. Uh, we wanna make sure that we keep our heart rate down. We're just trying to warm up. If you use a heart rate monitor or a Garmin or a chest strap, uh, we wanna be in zone one for our warm-ups always, uh, at the most. Sometimes even no zone is okay. We're just elevating the heart rate. During today's warm-up, we're gonna go through 60 seconds of jumping jack. After 60 seconds of jumping jacks, we're gonna work into 10 alternating Cossack squats. Focus on keeping your chest up, get a nice wide stance. We're gonna let our toes drift out slightly. We're gonna lean over into each leg, pushing straight across into the other leg. As our range of motion, so we might start high. As our range of motion improves, we're gonna focus on getting a little bit lower in each rep until we're down in the bottom of a squat position and we can travel across. After those 10 Cossack squats, we're gonna go into 10 steps of a perfect stretch walk. This is just combining a step with a perfect stretch. So we'll take a step, plant our hand, twist up and open, and then we'll come through, elbow to the ground, come back up into a lunge, step forward, reach up and twist, Elbow down to the ground for 10 steps. Three times through, 10 minutes of continuous motion. Let's get warmed up. After the warm up, we're going to get into five sets of work with set rest in between. So we're going to work for roughly one minute, rest for 30 seconds, work for roughly one minute, rest for 30 seconds, and wrap in one minute, and then rest for 90 seconds. Let's take a look at the movements. We're going to start out with an ab lower, which is we're going to lie on our back, flat pull our legs up, and then gently allow our legs to travel down. If you need to, you can anchor your hands underneath a couch or a chair, or even use a weight like a dumbbell or a kettlebell. But if you don't need that, we're going to come here, we're going to fire our legs up, and then slowly let the legs drift back down. For 12 reps. After those 12 reps, we're gonna rest for 30 seconds and we're going to 12 one and a quarter cycle squats. To complete a cycle squat, we need to elevate our heel. So we can use a plate or we can just get on an uneven flooring where your heels are gonna be able to be higher than your toes. A 45 is pretty aggressive. I would recommend something more like a 15 or a 25. This is all I have handy. Once we're here, we're gonna bring our heels together. We're gonna to come all the way down, one quarter of the way back up back down, that's one, two, three. We'll work for 12 reps and then we'll rest 30 seconds. Finally, in our last one minute of work, we're gonna AMRAP burpees, as many reps as possible in one minute before we rest for 90 seconds. We're gonna complete all three of those movements for five sets. After those, we're going to go into our second portion of our Metacon today uh, for some more unilateral work and conditioning. We're going to cycle through five sets of, again, three different movements. This time, we're going to start out with a reverse lunge to high knee. So we'll alternate eight reps, down, knee up, back down, knee up. After that, we're going to 12 single leg glute bridges per side. One leg is relaxed or up in the air. The other is being used to drive into the ground to fire our glutes, and then we'll switch sides. We want to make sure that we're activating the glute and we're not taxing the low back. Finally, we'll go 30 seconds of as many reps as possible, single unders on one foot. From that 30 seconds, we're going to go directly into the second foot for another 30 seconds for a total of one minute. Five sets. Have a great workout. Thanks for joining me. 